Hi, I'm Dwayne Nickel. I'm one of the Adobe Evangelists, and I'm starting a new series of tutorials on how to work with Flash Builder 4 and the Flex 4 framework. Now, in the Flex 4 framework, there's a lot of new graphics capabilities, and in Flash Builder 4, there's also some cool new layout features and different ways to declare layouts. So, we'll get started coding right away, and I'll show you what I mean. I've laid out a very simple application, and this one is a Flash based application. And if I wanted to do a layout in the past, I would just simply go up to the application tag and add in uh, the layout manager. And as we can see, uh, the layout base is not the same as it was before. What we have to do is now add a layout as a different declaration. And inside the layout, we have a different uh, series of layouts we can have. Now, there's a basic uh, layout, which is the default layout. Uh, there's also tile layouts, vertical layouts, and uh, horizontal layouts, as well as a number of others. One of the cool new features on Flash Builder 4 is that it actually helps developers by popping up all the information from the AS documentation or the ActionScript documentation that you would need as a developer to figure out what you're doing. Now, I don't really have to declare this, but I will, just to uh, make it uh, clear what I'm doing and uh, give you an example of how I can control this. Now, I could also have uh, picked another one uh, of the layout managers and uh, demonstrate that, which we'll do later on in this tutorial series. One of the things I'm going to add now is uh, a canvas, but I'm just going to go back and instead of using the new Spark container, I'm going to use an MX, a Halo canvas. So I'm going to add my canvas uh, container. And in my canvas container, I'm going to uh, put some uh, uh, pieces together. Uh, I'm going to uh, bind it to the top uh, with a and bind it to the bottom of zero because what we want to do is uh, paint a red rectangle up near the top left hand side of our uh, screen just to show how the new graphics packages can be declared. It's much more simpler than it was in Flex 3. Uh, we'll also put the, uh, the left at zero and the right at zero to complete the layout. And this of course can be controlled and if we wanted to add something else we can uh, do a background color. Uh, the background color we should do something so it gives us a little bit of uh, contrast with uh, the rest of what we're doing. Now inside of the canvas is where I can start building my graphics. So using the uh, Spark primitives, uh, you'll see of course at the bottom I, down here I've got my AS doc tab on and I can see all of the information about the, uh, the graphics package I'm going to be using. Um, I can add the uh, graphics package and again I can lay that out within the container that is its immediate parent. So in this case I'm going to give it the uh, X and Y of 0 and 0 to start laying it out. And uh, I can then uh, give it a different color just to make sure that the color is able to be distinguished from the other color and uh, give it some unique value. And hopefully this one should be sort of a reddish hue that will uh, help uh, determine the other uh, graphic rectangle from the first one. And inside here, I can of course declare my rectangle. Now for a rectangle, uh, to be a rectangle, it of course has to have a different height and width. So we'll give it a height of 100, a width of 200, and uh, close that off. And we can then declare even the fill inside of here. So the fill is another uh, part of the uh, skinnable architecture of uh, the Flash Builder 4 product. And I'm going to add a solid color in the middle, and the color will be OXFF3456, uh, which should be a random one. And uh, that would be color equals. And we'll just close this off. And we should be able to save that, get no red X's, and run it, and see a beautiful red rectangle at the top left corner of our uh, screen. And there we go. Now inside of this uh, project, if we wanted to, uh, one of the cool features about the graphics package is, of course, when you highlight one of the elements, it highlights the other pair element for you. So you can actually see which ones belong together. And as we do this, we can scroll down to the AS Doc tab and look, and we can see that we can also add a path or even an ellipse inside of here. So this gives the drawing capabilities using the MXML syntax a huge boost from what was possible in the Flex Builder 3 uh, product. And Flash Builder 4 will continue to build out on this, of course, as we import and use more of the uh, FX namespace qualified graphics packages, as well as the skinnable architecture of the uh, Spark components. I'm Dwayne Nickel. I'm part of the Adobe Evangelism team, and I love my job. Peace, love, and may your code compile on the first go.